How's it going everybody? This is Video Boy, and welcome to this LegitiX tutorial. So I covered how to deploy the game on Android and on the web, but I didn't really cover how to actually deploy it on desktop. So we got it running on desktop if you run it like this. But like how do you actually save it onto a website so other people can download it to run on their desktop? Well, I'm going to cover that in this tutorial, and I'm also going to cover how to change the icons. So this is the default uh, lightweight Java game library icon. So this here, and it's also down here. And I'm going to show you guys how we can change that. So if you go in the Git repository, I added three new icon files. Uh, so it's icon 128, 16, and 32. Uh, so that's just different resolutions for the icons. Because uh, on Mac, especially, they have a really high resolution. Windows is uh, lower. And uh, Linux is also lower. So I'm going to show you guys how to add those icons into the code so it actually works. So it's fairly simple. Um, basically, go in your desktop launcher f uh, uh, code file there. It's in the uh, desktop project, and then your package, and then you have your desktop launcher. So we already played with the config a little bit here, and we're going to play with it a little more. So do config.addicon, and then put the path. So we put in the root of the assets folder. So basically, you just have to write the icon name. So 128.png. And then the file type, just do file type dot, and then internal. So basically, this says that we're looking for a file within the assets folder. And uh, that's the file. Okay, so we just have to do it two more times, so we can just copy it. So basically we're just adding the icons of different resolutions. And libgdx will take care of the rest, so it'll determine what resolution it needs for the different type of app. Alright, so um, that's pretty much all. So if you run it, we should see the icon. There we go, we have the little spaceship here, and we have the spaceship there. Alright, so that was very easy. Um, now, how, how do we actually deploy it so that we have an executable that can be run uh, on all platforms, not just Windows, but also Mac and Linux? Well, um, Java, the way it works is it creates a .jar file. Some of you may be familiar with that from uh, other things. Uh, Minecraft comes to mind, uh, like the bucket uh, servers and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to create. So what you do is on your desktop launcher, just right click and then click export. It's going to give you a list of different uh, things and ways you can export it. What we want to do is we want to go into Java and then do runnable jar. Now click it. Now make sure that you have the desktop launcher uh, set up here so that it knows where to find uh, the code to actually run the project. And then here you just put a destination uh, so I'm just going to put on my desktop and that's basically it. Just click finish. It's going to give you a warning since we're using other libraries like libgdx. So it's going to basically say like, are you legally allowed to use these libraries? And for libgdx we are. Um, so if you want you could just click that but I'll keep it there. So click OK. And there you go. It's exported. So let's go into the desktop. And it's right here. So if you want to execute it just click it, double click. Uh, the person needs to have Java installed, by the way, for this to work. And that's basically all. So that's the game. It's the exact same thing as before. So now you can upload this file onto your server so people can download it. Uh, but just as long as they have Java, you need to make sure that your users know about that. Uh, for you can actually make some sort of executable using some programs. So you can have a .exe or a .dmg to actually run it on uh, Windows and Mac. Uh, but um, lots of people understand how jars work, so that's fine. You can also create some sort of shortcut, uh, kind of like you know, like a shortcut like this that runs the game. So you can actually have a shortcut icon uh, because you can't change the icon for this. Uh, but yeah. That, that was basically all I had to show you guys for this tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you have uh, somebody who thinks that uh, this video would be interesting for them, uh, then share it with them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.